Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Diddy. In today's short TA update, looking at the Bitcoin price, what can we expect of Bitcoin and um, where are we going to go in the next week? Because this is a new week on Monday morning. Let's see how the close was last week and everything else, guys. Now, uh, first, some coffee. And then we quickly jump into the charts. Here is the first chart, guys. First chart. This is, of course, the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see the Bam Bam indicator. You can get the Bam Bam indicator on the BitcoinFamily.com. Um, you can see that there is a long flag on the four hour. Then we need to wait for a four hour to close above the other stepping line. That is what we already had. And then uh, we need to see, of course, also green coming and the blue disappearing. And we need to have the blue line on top of that white line, which is all good, but there is a lot of bluish still. So let's wait for a little bit that we retest that yellow line. And if we bounce from the yellow line, then we can take it long all the way up to 22,300, which is a few percent profit, guys. Now, if we go to the day channel, we can see that we broke that trend that we were making. You know what we're talking about? The higher lows and the higher highs. Look, this one now is completely out of the trend. You can see it very clearly and it fell exactly to that orange line that already drew last week that we did the analyze i told you guys when we break that trend that upward line at that point i drew the line something like this and then i said when we break that we will go to that orange line sorry for the wind there is a little bit wind today so um sorry for that but there is no other place i can do a quiet video at the moment so we are finding support on this line and let's see what we do. Break, do we break that support? We go to 19,000 over here, 19,300. Do we huddle this line? Then we can continue to build a new pattern. And that's what we can see on the weekly as well. Very important on the weekly. Um, we saw that yes, indeed, we are closing that candle of last week down below the 200 weekly moving average. That is exactly what we didn't want. We wanted to close above that red line, the 23,117. That was the 200 weekly moving average. We closed down below it again. We are opening a new week, of course, today. And that one is going to close in six hours. We see still the long flag, but we need to start acting above that, um, that line that we can see over here, that 200 weekly moving average. I think that is very important. But at the end, I have some amazing charts that will show you exactly uh, what I mean. Um, again, if you want to get access to these indicators, then go to the bitcoinfamily.com. You will find all the information over there. You will find all the information over um, uh, about our products and the indicator packages over there. Um, just go there and check that. Also, guys, if you want to trade all of this, then go down below the video and click these links because Bible will give you up to $4,100 bonus. They give you a fee discount of 30% and they get you access to the bit launch pad. Also, this one, Apex, very important in the future, guys. This one is going to decentralize uh, leverage trading. So that's what you need to do. You don't need to send Bitcoins to an exchange anymore. You keep them in your own wallet and you can trade with leverage. Um, make sure you click the link, you connect your wallet, you click on invited and then you use that referral code. Then you get access to some more discounts on trading. My bracelet is loose. Something is wrong. Now, let's quickly go um, to some more beautiful charts, guys. <coughs> This is the monthly chart. On the monthly chart, we can also see that 200 weekly moving average. Yes, we are down below it, but we did see the crossover there of the orange and the blue line, the 12 and the 21, which means, and as indicated, guys, this every time happens around the bottom. So let's see if we are creating a bottom, a round bottom, because we had a round top. But there are some amazing charts coming up that will show you exactly what I think uh, that is happening. And uh, let's quickly jump into those charts because you do want to see those. Bam, here, this is the first one. Yes, I'm going a little bit quickly today because I want to make a short video because um, so you can watch all the video without stopping because it's taking too long. And uh, this is the first chart, guys. This is the peak network capitulation, network spend output profit ratio, 14 day EMA. If you look at this chart, guys, you can see something very cool. You can see that every time here in 2012, when we were in the bottom, that was the bottom of the bear market. Check here in this green area over there. That was the bottom of the bear market as well here. 
the only time that we stayed above it was over here guys in 2015 now now again look how deep we went and we are up again this is indicating to me that we could see the bottom and that is what we can see in this chart very clearly in this chart you can see very clearly um, that these bottoms <clears throat> that these bottoms are being created every time again look this is a 2014 bottom we look at a period of two weeks guys this is a 2018 bottom look they kind of are all in line you know with the huge crash and then we come up and we go sideways crash come up and we go sideways and now we in 2022 we had that crash we came up and we're going sideways so now we need to break above that buff the top bottom top bottom bottom line yeah that one over there so really cool chart as well now if we look even better to these charts than we look at this one, this one very nicely shows you the year over year price declines. And this one also shows you exactly how long we were in this uh, bottom period 91 days, 377 days, 202 days, 41 days was this uh, COVID crash uh, area. At the moment, already 198 days, we are in this bottom area. So, <clears throat> really cool to see and if you look at 2012-13 over here the dip here the dip here the dip the small dip and here a different kind of dip it's not a sharp v-shaped dip but it's a dip and then a sideways dip so it's a little bit different but in my opinion we are creating that bottom and if you zoom out a little bit more this shot guys you can see exactly <coughs> everything a little bit more zoomed out you zoom out and then you can see that this first run the red line was the bottom line you see this and then the second one yeah, from here from thousand all the way to twenty thousand to the bottom here of three thousand to seventy thousand to the bottom here around twenty thousand and that's seventeen eighteen thousand <clears throat> if we would continue this um this chart then we look to the top line again so now we would be here at the bottom uh, there was a top here at the bottom and then we would build on and then that would mean that in 2026 the bottom would be around 100k so we are looking at the bottoms now so in 2026 the bottom could be around 100k which would mean 2022 maybe we go a little bit up again we come down again 2024 we, we have the halving so that's mostly the year of the bull run so we have the bull run going up 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 maybe way above 100k yeah, maybe even 200k and then we crash again in 2025 sideways and then the bottom would be in 2026 around that um 100k if we continue this logarithmic pattern so if you're asking me Didi, should I buy Bitcoin or should I not buy Bitcoin at the moment? <laughs> I would keep buying Bitcoin. Dollar cost average into Bitcoin. Because the bottom of Bitcoin will go higher and higher. Which means the tops will be higher and higher. Which means your capital goes times 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 from this bottom. So why wouldn't you buy Bitcoin? Why would you put Bitcoin in some asset class that doesn't go up with 700 percent in the next couple of years or buy a house that probably is going down because of the interest rates climbing up or buy anything else that probably will be going down or sideways because of the crisis i believe that bitcoin is going to continue the bullish patterns that we have been seeing in the last years so that means new all-time highs above 100k now everything for today i didn't drink enough coffee hmm I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Sorry for all the wind. Thanks for watching. And also keep watching, of course, all the live streams because I'm doing my best to make them as funny as possible with a lot of entertainment. And if you come to Portugal, visit Bam Bam Beach. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again, guys. Bam.